All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Maneater. This is the Truth Quest DLC. I'm Catherine Beefy with the Game Vault here today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications. And don't forget to leave a comment and a like on the video down below and share us on social media. It is greatly appreciated. We are at the end of this game. I got two missions left. One of them is one of these annoying uh, uh, ring jumping challenges. I'm really not a fan of them. Uh, they were introduced in the Truth Quest DLC, and quite honestly, I could live without them. But, you know, we beat all of them up to this, so this is the last one we got to beat. And after that, we get to face the ultimate challenger. Some kind of leviathan creature. It looks like a mosasaur. I decked us out with the uh, shadow set because it is the fastest set. It gives us a lot of speed. So, let's give it a shot. Ready? Set? Go! What ferocity! The big fish is falling behind. Come on, get it. Get it. All right. This shark is really proving herself an athlete to watch. There we go. Looks like she's hit a wall. I'm getting close. Get it, yes. We got Just it. Just like a quote of the day calendar, that was inspiring. I'm not gonna lie, I must have done that mission 15 times. <laughs> Oh, what a pain in the butt that was. All right, so. Just because. Just because. Sure, it would be more practical simply to close the beaches. But why do that when you can just set loose a gang of amphetamine-fueled locals with guns? All right, let's move on. All right, they're searching for us. So our next mission is this one. Kill the apex. So we got a ways to go. Let's do it. So <clears throat> the game's been fun. I'll, I'll give it that. It's definitely a fun game. It is... Uh, Highly repetitive and very dull in its gameplay loop. A source to the Army Corps of Engineers informs me that the group has been involved in a purposely directed Gulf depopulation program for years. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. So it may seem strange that I sing praises for it on, on one side of the coin and then the other side I'm like, eh. But, you know, it... Like I said, it, it, it can be fun and not be a great game. Um, definitely not a bad game. Definitely a lot of promise to it. Uh, if they did a sequel, I'd love to see what they develop in a sequel and, and see how that works out because, you know, building on this would be a lot of fun. Uh, but it just needs more varied missions or just less, less missions overall and maybe more overall quotas. You know, like, you'd have times where it's like, well, kill 10, kill 10 humans or kill 20 catfish. And in the course of the game, you're going to do that anyway. So it'd be more fun to not have to go to a certain area and do that and just say, the beast of the uh -oh, bottomless pit. Here we go. It would almost be more fun to, uh, not have to Damn, it hurts. 
he hurts, he hurts. Oh god, he hurts. Let me go, let me go. So yeah, it'd almost be more fun to just have to kill X amount of creatures. And be done with it. Instead of doing it in a specific area, and just make it maybe... more of an overall goal, you know? Almost like leveling up. if I have what it takes to beat him at this setup. Look at that, we haven't even heard him yet. We got his armor down to about 60% maybe. I can just hear him behind me, just right on my butt, trying to heal up and more importantly, get my, uh, or just as importantly, get my special ability built up. Come on. there. Yeah, this fight is brutal. armor built back up, which sucks. I believe I can grab these. throw them at him, but oof, he's just right on my butt. Come on, give me some more fish. Yeah, kind of stuck in this arena now. On. 
not gonna lie, I've tried to fight this guy before with very little success. But that's okay. Oh, we don't want to mess with that. This is an intense battle. Ouch. Well, he does put a hurt on you. Oh, you're on the wrong side of the thing. Ah! Alright, his armor's almost off again, so we'll be able to hurt him a little bit more. Come on, just give me a nice little... Give me a couple fish here to eat. fish. A little grouper. Yeah, that helped. <laughs> Alright, there's another grouper. A little higher level one. fight these guys. No orcas, no sperm whale, please. Maybe some nice fat groupers. Maybe some chubby seals. Well, mahi mahi will work. Definitely a a hammerhead. But once again, his armor is fully intact. Uh, I guess it's just a matter of swimming in circles and taking pop shots at him. Ow. Ooh, that wasn't good. Wasn't good at all. Nope. The predator refuses to submit to a cashless society. That's right, a cashless society is no way to live. Oh, all the fish are up here, okay.
stick to the surface for a minute. Generating armor really sucks. Come here, little turtle. Ah. All right, dodging him. Imagine himself in. No! Let go of me! Let go! Alright, we gotta go. Ah, uh, wrong side. That's so cruel. Comic Leviathan, jeez. Like, just couldn't be a regular Leviathan. Well, at least the wildlife is coming back. Tell you what, as lukewarm as most of the other bosses were, and fairly easy to beat for the most part if you're ready for him, this guy makes up for it. Why don't you go fight that orca, dude? And he's just as tasty as me. Oh, wrong side of the net. I can't believe his armor's built up again. At least his health doesn't regenerate. This guy looks like he's good. Yep. All right, we're getting close to uh, having our meter filled. No, thank you, sperm whale. Wait, clip me.
really think I'm supposed to grab those things and chuck them back at them. healed up. rips the health bar up. I think one more chow and I'm done. Right, let's get high up, see if we can get some fish. Took a few hits there, but I honestly don't know what we did to him. We haven't even got him down to half health yet. seafood. <coughs> A little seal. Oh, he hit me again. that way. Did he glitch out? Oh my god, he glitched out. What's he doing? Nope, he's not glitched out. <laughs> he 
No! Move, move, move! Well, we are in deep doo doo. Deep, deep, deep doo doo. No, ho, 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 let go, let go. The fish has no tolerance for crypto Satanist agents of the Illuminati. All right, now it's just a matter of staying alive for a few minutes. Let's find some more food. bit helps. That's a big bite there. No. Look at that. Sun's coming up. Been that long of a fight. All right, let's find us another fish. that armor. Yikes. Alright, well that hurt him. His friggin' armor's back. Damn it. That gave him a little hurt. At least on his armor. Yikes. There you go. Ah, no! Let go of me. I hate you. Alright, 
Time to heal up. There we go, you only seal. He is so brutal. Oh, he's right on my butt. Right on my butt. Damn it. Want to launch those things again, buddy? Ouch. There you go. Alright, give me some fish. Give me some fish. Turtle, a marlin, a mahi mahi, a group, or anything. I'll take a couple of prawns right now. Nice fat piece of seal. There we go. There we go. got no legs or no front flippers I should say at least that's what it looks like no let go of me let go, let go. Oh, how'd I miss him? be a lot slower now I would think there you go ouch I guess the trick is just to stay alive. Obvious. Ah! Go on, launch. Launch some of your little nuky things again. Woo! 
Let go. Don't do it. Yeah, go build your friggin' armor up again, you jerk. There it is. Damn it. I want armor. done pretty good so far. It's just a matter now of catching a little chow. That looks like something over here. risky. I guess we should wait until we have uh, the armor gone for that. Damn it. Little seal's a wily one. Come on. Give me some food. It feels like this arena is getting smaller. Decent little chunk of health there. Give me hammerheads and makos all day. Nice fat chunky seals. Little fried mahi sandwich. Is energy, oh no, what? Even physical matter. So maybe if we all focus our minds on the destruction of this unholy weapon, it will happen. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. not good like this guy wasn't enough Thank <laughs> you. 
on, spit out your things again. Hopefully I only have to kill him and not all of the guys. Although once he's dead... Like heroic Neo, oh. the shark has freed us from the Matrix. Now, we can unplug from the metal coils that once enslaved us, leave our mechanical caves, and greet this new dawn of truth. It's been 90 days since my last Truth Quest broadcast. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering where I've been. Well, for the past year or so, I've been partaking daily of ayahuasca. In fact, the very concept of Truth Quest came to me during a powerful, powerful vision. vision. It was during my last vidcast that I experienced what my wife described as a psychotic break. The next day, she and my son Stephen staged a family intervention. Well, I'm happy to report that since then, I've filed for divorce. Now I have time to dedicate myself to my true calling. Questers, we know that reality is just a mirage. Somewhere through the crack between time and space, great cosmic truths remain, still awaiting discovery. These are the obscure and unmarked points along the road of our truth quest. And that's it. <clears throat> wow. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, tough, tough, tough final battle there, that's for sure. Do I still have these guys around? Hopefully not. I honestly don't think there's anything left to do, right? What's this? Unable to fast travel on combat. Okay. I hate to tell you this, but I'm not in combat anymore. Alright, let's get back to our little home base. And then we'll check everything out. So... Yeah, all that's done. Uh, 100%, 100%. Excuse me, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Go to Plovis Island real quick just to make sure we didn't miss any last little goofy things there. If you value your planetary sovereignty, all of this must be destroyed. Plover Island done well to all of you who joined me on this quest here this truth quest in man eater i appreciate it as always i'm captain beefy with the game vault here and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications don't forget to leave a comment and a like on the video down below and share us on social media and what's coming up next? Well, we're going to take a little bit of a different turn and get away from some of these action-based games and go for something a little more mellow, but very intense. So stay tuned for Until Dawn. That'll be starting tomorrow. Thanks again, everyone. I'll see you next time.